Hi everyone, it's Chris from Clearly Crafted here on this cold and snowy day here in New Jersey. Um, so what does that have me thinking? Sunflowers, of course. So I already did a couple videos showing you how to build this crackle base. This is a piece of tile. So just a plain old piece of tile from my local hardware store. I think it was on sale. Uh, I got a bunch of tiles from there. Um, some as low as 39 cents. I think this one was $1.29. Gotta love it. Um, so the crackle base is done. And normally I don't use the iron-on method, but because this piece is so long, um, if I try and attach this using my normal way, I will definitely wrinkle like crazy. And I'm one of those weird decoupage people. I actually like some wrinkles. I like some texture. Um, I like things to, to look that way. But for this, it, it can go so wrong. I figured this is probably a better option. So I am going to iron this one on and then kind of let it sit for a bit and then go over it with my Mod Podge. So after I did the crackle and everything dried, I put on two coats of matte Mod Podge. These nice little bottles are great. They come from, I get them at the dollar store. So it's nice to have them. They're fresh, you open them and they're sealed. So I have two coats on here that are dry. So it's nice and smooth. Um, and then this napkin, it's a three ply. So I'm gonna make sure that I get all of the edges off of there. You can see this. There, that came off nicely. That doesn't always happen. So, and then I'm gonna kind of see where this is going to line up. This is a really neat napkin, and one of the reasons I did this today, I was actually looking for something to do for a gift for someone for Valentine's Day. And then we made a total left hand turn and went to sunflowers. <laughs> I found it and because this is a, a four square napkin, but on the one side, this goes through completely. You can see there's no split here. This looks like it's all one piece. So really neat picture effect. And I'm trying to see where I want it to go. I think, I think I want a little just trying to see where I want to position it because it will have some overlap. Do I want it? I think that makes it too off. I think I want to bring yeah, it here. So, and you can see where this will overlap some, but that I will be painting a little probably green border around. I, I like to do a border. Makes it look like it's framed. Um, and then you don't have to get real fancy with it. So I want to make sure, and you're going to see these cracks that we have in the background are going to show through, which is nice. I went with a plaster color background. I was originally looking at ivory, but thought at the last minute that the ivory had too much yellow. And I thought it would end up, you know, blending in the flowers too much with the background. And I really want the background to look separate. So this looks like it's good right here to find my, so iron one method, my layers of glue are down. I take my parchment paper and I put that on top because I need something between the napkin and the iron. Um, and the idea is that the heat activates the glue underneath. I have this fun little iron. This is a funky, one of those rare things that I actually buy one of the more expensive tools, that's why I can do 39 cent tile, um, is to um, get some of the tools that look like this. So this I'm just going to run neatly over the edges and you can see it's hot. It is hot. This tool is really neat. I will say I burnt the snot out of myself a couple times with it. That metal pole in the middle is very hot. just going to continue running this all the way to the edge I 
for me. I will put Mod Podge on top, which may make it get some bubbles. Some bubbles, a few wrinkles, I'm not that worried about. Trying to put this whole piece down as one would have been a bubble wrinkle nightmare. So I'm going to continue going over this. Just back and forth, nice and easy. And I'll see how much of it's stuck. The thing is that it should be partially down. Let's see here. Yeah, it's starting to hear nicely. I love these lazy Susans. I this was a cheap throwaway. I forget who was getting rid of it. I was like, oh, I'll take it. And then my husband makes me these little wooden dowel pieces that hold, because I do a lot of glass work. And it holds my glass pieces up and it keeps the edges of things up and it's adjustable. Let's see. Oh, gotta get that area there. A cute few little bubbles and pulls here. I'm going to continue going over them. Like I said, these bigger pieces, it's a little difficult. That's why I like these little irons. Using a big, like, household iron, like I'd iron clothes with, definitely make it a little more difficult. Okay. Yep, that's down. It isn't too, too hot, so it's good. We got a little creasing up here. See, that's on that edge. Make sure we go along there. That's nice. Coming out nice. And the one thing that's nice with the iron on piece, you can kind of let it sit a minute and then come back and iron again. I originally was like, oh no, I don't like the iron on method. It doesn't seem to work well for me. And you know, I was thinking, you know, it's I like just the glue. But I can tell you, I've become a, a fan. Because look, you can see, look, this is nice and secured. Look, it's secured down already. That's stuck there. Now that gives me a chance to let it cool. I would definitely be letting it cool. I'm going to probably go over it again because I have see I have a few spots here in the tile. And the tile's nice because it's, you know, heat resistant. I have that nice piece. Now look how nicely that went on. So nice. That's going to be so pretty. I mean, it's just to sit around. Nothing exciting or special it was just a, a piece to bring some color and joy a lot of people really like sunflowers i don't know sunflowers you can't help seeing them and then just kind of smile just reminds you of summer and happy and but there we go iron one method on this and it is on I will show a completed one once it's glued. Here's some happy brightness to your winter. <laughs>